last opponent the Miami Sharks face in the movie is the Dallas Knights. The Dallas football team have for their logo an all-seeing eye and a sun. The movie contains a rather perplexing scene where one of the Dallas players loses an eye in the form and fashion of a button ejected from a t-shirt following a large meal. And during this scene, the pyramid and all-seeing eye are flashed on the screen a number of times. Suspiria is a 1977 film about a ballet school that is more than it seems. The story surrounds an American girl named Susie who joins a famous European ballet school through a series of bizarre events that begin the moment she arrived at the school. Susie begins to delve deeper into the school's past and present members and comes to learn that the ballet school was originally founded as a witch's coven. She would later come upon a hidden chamber within the school where the school teachers are performing a ritual. Similar to the plot of many vampire movies, the main character kills the head witch, instantly subjecting the lesser witches to the same fate. The all-seeing eye in this movie is seen within that hidden ritual chamber. El Topo is an absurd 70s movie that was meant to be surrealist and artsy, but succeeds only in being stupid. El Topo is about a traveling gunman and his many pointless adventures in a Salvador Dali inspired Wild West setting. At the end of this pointless and pathetic tale, El Topo, which means the mole, becomes the champion of a group of freaks and cripples and goes on to battle an evil cult which rules a nearby town. The symbol for this cult is the all-seeing eye within a pyramid. Batman Returns, the second movie in the modern Batman series, is about Batman versus the Penguin. In the film, the Penguin has revealed himself to the people of Gotham City after spending a lifetime living in the sewers. Gotham becomes enchanted by the Penguin, and soon the Penguin and another villain named Max Shrek begin planning the Penguin's mayoral rise to power. By the end, the Penguin betrays Shrek and Batman defeats the Penguin and his army. In a scene where Batman is attending a masquerade ball of Gotham's elite, the all-seeing eye and pyramid are seen on a turban worn by Max Shrek. In Desperately Seeking Susan, a pent-up housewife named Roberta becomes obsessed with an adventurous floozy named Susan, played by Madonna. After a bit of stalking and a bump on a head that causes her amnesia, she unwittingly assumes Susan's identity. Roberta is immediately mistaken for the real Susan, not because Roberta acts similar or bears resemblance to Susan, but because in the course of taking Susan's identity, Roberta also began wearing Susan's jacket. This rather unique jacket has, on its back, an all-seeing eye and pyramid identical to the one that graces the U.S. $1 bill. Roberta discovers that the woman whose identity she has taken has a criminal reputation. And because it never occurs to Roberta to take the damn jacket off, she continues to find herself mistrusted, expelled, and hunted by the people she encounters. Watchmen is about a disbanded group of superheroes who are brought back together when they discover that they are being targeted by someone who knows their true identity. Rorschach, a superhero who continued to fight crime after the Watchmen organization was disbanded, stays firmly on the trail of these recent assassinations. Near the end of the movie, a terrible revelation is made as the remaining Watchmen find out that one of their own, a former Watchmen superhero named Ozymandias, has betrayed his friends and is behind the murders and also intends to conduct a major terrorist attack where millions will die. This villain, Ozymandias, is obsessed with Egyptian motifs including pyramids and wears an all-seeing eye on his belt. A Scanner Darkly is about a dystopic future where America is a police state and many people are addicted to an epidemic street drug named Substance D. Although it is claimed that Substance D is being manufactured in foreign countries and shipped to America, the viewer 
and the movie's main character, Robert Arctor, eventually learn that the plants used to make Substance D are being grown by the very organization who claims to be fighting Substance D addiction. At the beginning of the film, the all-seeing eye in Pyramid is seen on the t-shirt of a character played by Robert Downey Jr. This character betrays his friends and is a heavy user of Substance D himself. The movie Hackers is about a group of hackers who are framed for a cybercrime they didn't commit. The villain of the movie, who absolutely insists on being called The Plague, has created a computer virus that will cause chaos and is designed to embezzle millions of dollars. In the movie, the all-seeing eye in Pyramid is seen for just a moment when the hero of the movie is sent a recorded message from the villain. Well, let me explain the new world order. Governments and corporations need people like you and me. We are samurai, the keyboard cowboys, and all those other people out there who have no idea what's going on are the cattle. Conan the Barbarian is about a warrior named Conan, whose family was killed by the movie's villain, Thalsa Doom. The villain, played by James Earl Jones, is repeatedly associated with the Egyptian god Set. In the film, it is said that Thalsa Doom is a thousand years old and the leader of many snake cults. Similar to the story of Horus spoke of earlier, Conan, played by Arnold Schwarzenegger, goes on a quest to avenge his father's murder. Not only is Thalsa Doom associated with Set, but with the all-seeing eye as well. The only snakes I know of are those of Set and those cursed towers. They have spread to every city. Two, three years ago, it was just another snake cult. Now, everywhere. In your hand, you hold my light. The gleam in the eye of Set. An episode of South Park also contains the all-seeing eye and pyramid. In this episode, Kyle is extremely ill and his patients consult a local mystic for a natural and homeopathic cure for Kyle's ailments. This mystic, whose name is Misinformation, is a fraud and claims that Kyle is improving, while in reality, his condition continues to worsen. In the film Sleepy Hollow, a skeptical investigator is sent to a small town to investigate a series of murders which the locals claim were committed by a headless horseman, despite the notable handicap of being dead. Investigator Ichabod Crane, played by Johnny Depp, was originally quite skeptical of the existence or possibility of a headless horseman who rides the night slaying local town folk. Only after a direct encounter with the headless horseman does he finally shed his disbelief. The villain of the movie, a witch that would later reveal herself, disapproves with Constable Crane's snooping 